Apple has officially launched its Pay Later program, the company's take on the Buy Now Pay Later services. People can access the service within their Apple wallet to avoid paying the full price for a product right away. Apple first announced the program at last year's Worldwide Developers Conference. So here to discuss is Emma Roth. She is the weekend news editor at The Verge. So let's just sort of get the basics out of the way. How does Apple Pay, pay how does Apple Pay Later work? How is it different from some of the other pay buy now pay later offerings? Yeah, so Apple Pay, it lets you pay, make a purchase and then pay for it over the course of six weeks and four installments. And like other services, it doesn't have late fees. And um, it also doesn't have interest. Mm. Um, so it kind of, it's <laughs> kind of like other services that you may have heard of, like Affirm, Afterpay, and Klarna. Yeah. However, this is kind of Apple's own spin on things here. So wait, what's the how catch? How do they make money? Yeah, how do they make money? <laughs> well, they, they make money, I think, by keeping you kind of in their ecosystem. Right. So you're going to have to use Apple Pay to use Pay Later. And you're also going to have to have an iPhone, like have an iPhone or iPad, because it's going to exist in uh, mm. the Apple Wallet, so you can track all your payments. So I think their benefit here is that it keeps you in the iPhone ecosystem. Well, I am thoroughly in the iPhone ecosystem. Right. Like uh, for that very reason, I want all my devices to talk to each other. It's just it's a lot easier. But I don't really understand why. Is like is that the primary reason why Apple is even moving into this space, just to keep me contained in the Apple world? Yes, I think that's honestly the primary reason. Okay. They did launch a credit card um, back in 2019, but this kind of, this brings the financial services into Apple's own hands. They actually mm -hmm. opened up another subsidiary just to handle the lending part of this whole thing. And this kind of uh, digs Apple deeper into the world of finance. Mm. So let me tell you why I don't like it. Yep. All right, because when I was in college, this is back in the 80s, uh, I realized that I could get a credit card yeah. without having any money in the bank. Um, and so I got myself one of those credit cards, went to spring break, spent every last dime that I didn't have on that credit card. And then when I came back, I couldn't pay the bills. And right? then you were and like, what's that pay later part of this agreement? <laughs> right. What is an interest rate? <laughs> um, but here, the danger, I think, guys, is that... Um, because our, our children, young people have these phones mm -hmm. and they can download this, this, they can use Apple Pay and buy a lot of stuff. And in this particular case, I mean, mm -hmm. back in the day, you had mail, you know, and parents started seeing these bills in the mail and they realized what I had done. Here, you might not even know what your kid is up to or even forget just children, people who don't have the ability to pay and now they're in the hole. But I think it's got to be attached to a card, right? Oh, does it? But yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's attached to a card. Yeah, so the way with uh, Apple's Pay Later program, it is attached to a debit card. Like, you can't use a credit card with it. And ah. um, they do perform, yeah, they perform a soft credit check before uh, you apply. I mean, that doesn't affect your credit score, but it kind of also puts people at a higher risk um, to kind of get approved for these loans and then keep spending, 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 yeah. mm -hmm. stacking them all up. And it, it is a little bit risky there. The challenge is that you overextend yourself without knowing it, right? right? right. So there, there's no fees here. There's no interest, unlike a credit card or unlike some of these other payment programs. But, you know, if you weren't going to buy a $250 bikini, which I can't even believe bikinis cost that much. It's two little things of fabric. If you weren't going to buy that, suddenly you're like, oh, but it's just 50 bucks, right. right? And then you do that a few times, and suddenly that just 50 bucks is now 300 or 400 bucks. Right. That you're spending every two weeks to get ahead of these payment programs. And you're beholden to Apple. The, the point being that, as Emma points out, yeah. that Apple is getting in, in the financial side of things right yeah, now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, Apple probably already knows everything about us. <sighs> about me, anyways. But I think that that is the big challenge, is you end up spending more than you really can afford to do because it feels so easy That's in right. the moment. That's yeah. Right. Uh, Emma, thank you very much for your reporting. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me.